hey guys welcome back to another video and uh, as promised so in this video we would be talking about some advanced examples of flowcharts so in the past video we talked about some basic concepts the designs uh, the symbols that we are going to use for flowcharts and in this video we are going to look into loops so the first problem it tells us that write a program to output the sum of 1 to 10 so what this is telling us is basically that we need to start from 1 and look into each number so 1 2 3 4 up to 10 and then sum all of them up and then return the sum value <coughs> however in the first videos like in the first examples that we talked about we took inputs from the user but in this case we are not taking any inputs rather we are using a loop where we are initializing a value where i let's say i equals to one and this i would go up to 10. so this is basically our condition our diamond checkbox so just look into what the solution here is here so as usual we're going to start with start and that is an oval box an oval then we're going to initialize value so uh, remember when we are doing any calculations or initializing any values that's all always in a rectangle and rectangles are basically uh, there to show that there is a process going on so this is a basic so this is basically a process then Again, we are doing another process, which is we are doing calculations. So sum equals to sum plus number. So sum is initially zero and number is one. Okay, then we go from this position to we go to here. Now sum equals to sum plus number. So sum is zero plus number, which is one. So zero plus one, that would be one. Then is number less than 10 so number is 1 right and is num 1 less than 10 of course it is so we are going to go to the true side and in the true side we increase number by 1 so number equals to number plus 1 so number becomes 2 then we go up 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 and go into this position see there is a loop here this is going from this position to this position to this and this again and goes into the decision box and in the decision box we basically s check if it satisfies this equation so in this case number less than 10 if it does it goes back into the loop if it doesn't it goes under like for the false case and does this and then stops so where were we so we were at 2 so it's 2 less than 10 oh no so we're here so uh, num plus number so that's 1 plus 2 uh, that would be 3 then we go down and it's number less than 10 so number is 2 2 is of course less than 10 we go to the true side we increase number by 1 that would be 3 we go up then we increase sum so sum equals to sum plus number so 3 plus 3 that would be 6 we go down it's number less than 10 of course then we increase number and this process goes on until we reach um, 10 where the condition is is 10 less than 10 no it isn't so we go down and show the output so this is a very easy example for loops and we're going to look into some harder examples so in this example the question is is write a pseudocode and draw a flowchart for uh, printing sequence 1359 up to n so in this case in this uh, question we do we know where to start from however we don't know what n is where we have to stop right that means that we have to take inputs from the user however in the previous example we already knew where to start from and where to end so there wasn't any need for user interactions but in this question we definitely need a value from the user as we need to know the value of n 
so let's give this a shot so we definitely start with an oval then go down then we need to initialize a value or we need to ask the user for the value of n so n equals to input then we initialize a value so value initializing is always a rectangle and for this case we are using i which starts from it should be one which starts from one then remember so we have to go from one up till n so we need a for loop for this we need a loop for this so what would that loop do so the loop is basically saying that if i is less than or equal to n if it is less than e less than or equal n we are going to go down and in this we are going to print or we can write outputs so we can show the value then we are going to increase the value of i by 1 no so we are going to increase the value of i by 2 because in the example here we can see that the value is increasing by 2 so after 1 we have 3 then 5 so 1 plus 2 that would be 3 3 plus 2 that would be 5 so this is what we are basically doing here so as this is a calculation we are going to put this into a rectangle and then this would go back up again into uh, the decision box so you can show the flow from here to here or you can show the flow like this either way wh whichever makes you comfortable whichever looks good and in the case where this condition doesn't satisfy where i is not or less or equal n then we are done we don't need to do anything else right we don't need to do any sums or anything we just print all the values what which was asked and we did that we printed i and increased i by plus two and we're done and let's see if it matches with our answer here so yeah it does match and see the flow is from here to here it checks again then output and then uh, at the end it if it it gets out of the condition it's going to end the whole flow chart a small co correction here on the left side we would have false not true and here they have written when so when is basically saying that this is a loop and in our case we have written if both do the same thing so there's no problem with any one of these so you can write anything you want as long as it shows that it is a loop a loop is going on here and so for our case the loop is basically it starts from here 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 and goes up to here and again here so this is our loop so if you have any questions or suggestions of course feel free to comment down below and hope you guys like the video and would we'll be coming back with more advanced examples of uh, flowcharts. Thank you.